United States Army Corps of Engineers is uh, responsible for the operation and maintenance for the, for the LA River Channel here. And um, as you can see around us here, uh, graffiti is a real problem. Specifically today, um, we're here, to, like I said, to, to recognize the Sheriff's Office for assisting us in prosecution. The, the specific uh, tag that we're after today is one of the the largest in the United States. It's approximately 2,000 um, feet long and about 60 feet high. And um, we're going to, uh, there's um, stimulus monies that are have been uh, uh, allocated and we've led a contract to actually cover uh, the 50, um, 52 miles of LA River Channel. And um, today, actually after this uh, award ceremony or presentation ceremony, we're actually going to cover uh, this, the lar this largest tag of uh, MTA, which is, uh, uh, stands for Metro Transit Assassins. Uh, the Sheriff's Office is uh, involved in the prosecution of the individuals that they have identified uh, uh, as being the ones that put this uh, tag up. And so that's what we're here today to do. And the you know, it costs us a lot throughout the city to take down graffiti each and every year. We spend over $10 million, and we've got to do more. We not only need more resources, but we do better, need to better coordinate between and amongst different agencies to make this possible. So it's one step of many that we're going to do to make sure that we uh, take down and reconquer the LA River. What does it really mean? Well, to me, what it means is that this is the first incremental gesture that the federal government is paying attention and is now listening. Before we were kind of like shooting in the dark and hoping someone would listen. Mm -hmm. Someone would see the sign that says, help us, we need resources from the federal government. Now someone has responded. So this is like that little lifesaver that they throw at us, and well, that's what this is. Hopefully it'll grow up into a bigger banquet that's going to definitely satisfy the hunger and the appetite we have to make this area change in a way where it's multi-faceted, multi-purpose, can generate thousands and thousands of, hundreds of thousands of new jobs if we allow it. Mm -hmm. At the same time, nurture the river and do all the good things we know it can be done to deal with this uh, global climate change.